Welcome, everybody. It is Monday again, <laughs> and we're back here at our Accountability and Success Mastermind call with me, Vanessa Raymond, your Confidence and Success Coach. Welcome, everyone. How is everyone doing? Let me see. We got energy. Are we feeling good today? Awesome. Well, um, I'm happy to be here. Had a long weekend with a sick baby, but he's a lot better today. So I was sad to miss most of you on Friday night, but uh, so it goes. The kiddos have to always come first. Uh, I have a couple of faces here today that um, is new. Uh, Simona and Sam. So I'm going to, uh, oh, and CJ. Well, most, most of you know CJ. Who does not know CJ here? Most of you know CJ, but okay. So um, Sam, I'm going to just have you introduce yourself to everyone. Let them know who you are, what you're doing with us here in Achieve. So they know who you are. Sweet. Thanks, yeah. Vanessa. It's good to be okay. here. I've been wanting to join this mastermind for a while and just other commitments have come up. So I finally made some time and I'm really excited to see all of you. So I am a payment processor. I help businesses across the country um, set up the right payment system for them. And my focus is two things. One, that they have great cash flow. And two, that we reduce additional merchant fees and we save people money. Um, I'm really passionate about the businesses that I believe are keeping America running. And I love to have a small piece in that and, and help these businesses succeed. Um, we've been working with, our company has been working with Vanessa um, and Achieve for the last, I think year, maybe two years now. Uh, two years. Two years or a little more than two years um, as their payment processor. And this last year um, at the very end, we decided to become one of their um, their partners. I forget what it's called. Vendors. The vendor. You're a vendor. Yeah. Preferred vendor. Yes. So I'm I'm jumping in. I'm going to be a lot more involved with uh, masterminds and events and stuff like that over the next few years. So really excited about that. Awesome. Thank you, Sam. Yes. Uh, great payment processing system. Uh, great rates. So if you need a credit card processor, talk to Sam. Uh, Simona, I know you were popping in and out a little bit. I thought maybe if you turn off your camera so we can hear you, would you like to introduce yourself to everybody? Hi, everyone. Uh -huh. Simona Ridge. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Simona Ridge with Advanced Accounting and Business Solutions. Um, just like Sam, I just became a preferred vendor, and I'm so excited to get started. But I offer payroll, bookkeeping, taxes, all that fun stuff. And I tell everybody I'm not your typical bean counter. <laughs> cool. Thank you, Simona. Welcome, uh, Michelle. Good to see you, Phyllis. Uh, Shauna, good to see all of you. All right. So uh, Genesis, I think most everyone here know who you are, but it is her first time on our call. So if you would just uh, please introduce yourself. Well, I am Genesis Gomez, and I have just recently opened my mortgage brokerage firm in December 2022. But I had a call or a uh, in-person one-on-one -on -one meeting with Robert last week, and we're going to do a little bit of revamping for my personal brand. So I also coach different models um, and on runway and on print modeling because I have been on different billboards and magazines all throughout the country. And um, <clears throat> so what we're going to do is kind of take that and shift it just a little bit. I've always done like model and mortgage, and we're going to just do the uh, model mindset coaching. And so it's going to go based on confidence and overcoming uh, just because I have a background of uh, men's trauma that I have been through in my life and I have really overcome it. And I want to help other people overcome it as well, but not getting rid of the mortgage stuff, just kind of shifting a little bit into where my passion lies and helping people with how I have achieved success so they can achieve their own success as well. Love it. Thank you, Genesis, and welcome, Lynette. I see you just logged on. We're happy to have you. So you guys, uh, we don't have a ton of time today. There's a lot of us. I would love for everybody to uh, share 
their number one goal of the week. I want you to keep it short and sweet because I also have something I'd like to share with you in the last five or eight minutes of our call. Uh, we're going to talk about how to step out of being good into pursuing greatness, all right? So we're gonna go around the room and I want you to share what is your number one goal for this week to up-level your business or what you need to get done in your business this week. So uh, Mac, I'm just gonna start with you. You're at the top of my screen. Well, being... Um the end of January, my business uh, tends to slow down starting around Thanksgiving and picks up this week. Um, so I'll be concentrating on reaching out after the holidays and uh, uh, all the new price lists and everything that I have to uh, disperse uh, over about 18 states. So I'm very busy. Awesome. <laughs> you have your work cut out for you. Fantastic. Good luck with that. Uh, Genesis, you're up next, honey. What's number one for you this week? What needs to get done? You're muted, just so you know. Um, number one that needs to get done this week is my is my packet uh, to put out on my website. So it will be the video, the bio, and um, oh my God, what is that the word? Video, the Catalog. bio. Catalog. I Yes, thank you. Perfect. <laughs> and so those are the, that's the, to put that packet together is my number one thing to get done this week. Fantastic. Go for it, girl. All right, Robert and Noel, you're up next. Howdy, howdy. So my focus this week is on speaking. I um, am participating in a three day uh, boot camp and getting um, practice, experience, training, and sizzle reels and all that fun stuff to figure out how to get um, get on stage this year. Fantastic. Uh, may I ask what boot camp you're doing? Uh, Michelle Mraz in the Springs holds one every few months. I love her. She's amazing. Yep. Awesome. Have a good time. Wonderful. Thanks. Yes, Robert. So I'll be photographing and participating in the speaker boot camp as well. And um, hopefully getting two high ticket clients. That's still my goal, and we're still in the process. Got a list of 600 names to email, and so we're marching along. Wonderful. Sounds exciting. Go for it. All right, David, welcome. Yay. Thank you very much. Um, my goal this week is I'm creating uh, seven-second, 15-second, 30-second short videos, funny gag reel videos in order to promote my business to create uh, interest. So Love for example, in my, in my racing, in my racing motif, it's a guy who's frustrated with a job and doesn't know what to do. And all of a sudden someone slams a racing helmet on, on the table. He's like, what? And then just show stop, let go, show the logo. And that's it. Oh, just quick little, little snippets in order to get my message across. I love it. Thanks, David. Oh, yeah. that sounds fun. I'm looking forward to seeing those. Uh, all right, Joanne. Hey, hey. Um, hey, hey. <laughs> I, uh, I have got so much to do. I don't know what comes first. I have a whiteboard of stuff and I have to do it all. So I think the number one though is um, I sold a workbook with one of my courses and then I didn't realize how much work it would be on how expensive it is to print. So I'm trying to find a printer and trying to uh, finish the workbook, which I'm halfway through. I just need to get that done. Remind me, Joanne, I have a printer for you. And actually, he's our guy. And what he does is he finds you the best price. Yeah, because I underquoted by probably 50% on the workbook. So I'm quite okay. annoyed with myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But okay. And also learn. consider doing those uh, via PDF at some point, you know. So, so I, I, like, this is PDF. I'm trying to do the cheapest option, but it's still landing up to be, I think it's Hawaii prices, actually. I think it's. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. No, I'll, I'll, I'll connect you with my guy, Tommy. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Awesome. Fantastic. Lynette, welcome. Uh, you are muted, honey. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank oh, you for the warm welcome. <laughs> yeah, it's good to see you here. Do you Thank want to you. quickly just share a short bit about who you are and then tell us what's your number one goal this week? Okay. Well, my name is Lynette Hebrink, and I 
I live in the Tulsa, Oklahoma area, and I started a new company um, in 2022 called Extraordinary LLC. And I'm still looking for, I'm still kind of working through with my um, business coach on to find my brand, find my purpose and my niche. So I'm looking through some avenues, but my focus, I'm on vacation this week and I'm wanting to make some calls. I'm making, I want to work my part-time business in full-time mode since I'm on vacation from my job and make some uh, focus of 15 to 20 calls this week and set up appointments for follow-ups. That's my goal for this week. Fantastic, Lynette, and bravo to you for being here on your vacation. Love, love, love how you're stepping up. Fantastic. Uh, Shauna, you want to share next? You're muted. Okay. All right. Yes. How are you? <laughs> good. How are you? Um, good. Thank you. Um, yes. Yeah, so I am on the to-do list of getting my um, my landing page taken care of with a catalog, uh, my video and my bio. Um, you know, obviously, like as we go through universities, so much more things come to light. So before I actually get like that squared down, I need some clarity on my direction, uh, on my direction with it all. So I'm hoping to get with, uh, get with uh, Rob this week or, or someone to help or lead me there me. so I can start doing it. You? Chat. Yeah, call me. Okay, perfect. We will set I'm up going a time to. to chat. Okay, and David said he'd be happy to help too. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. Awesome. Now, Sarah, I'm going to call on you because uh, the last couple of times we didn't get to you because you had to run because of clients. If you're there, you want to share with us your number one goal for the week. By the way, welcome, Joy. Hi. Hi, Thank you, Sarah. Hey, friend. So my number one um, goal for this week is to finish. I'm doing a press release with JC Soto and got the um, video back uh, to be able to share with him. And so I am ready to package everything up. And I, I want to get it actually done this evening, get it done today and sent to him. So I'm super excited about that. Super, super. Awesome. Love it. Love it. Thank you. Uh, CJ, can you talk? It looks like you're parked. Yes, I actually can. <laughs> awesome, honey. Fantastic. Share with us briefly your number one goal for this week. Um, ironically, it's actually not for the photography side. Um, we're getting everything together and making sure this week is going to be great for our uh, networking event on Friday night yes. here in Albuquerque. So fantastic celebrate celebrate good job yeah. <laughs> fantastic um charles you're up next um i just got a notice that i'll be a vendor for two events so i'm getting ready for my first event Woo! celebrate good job charles fantastic um beatrice you're up next okay and i'm gonna say something that's gonna make joanne laugh I have no idea what I'm, my goal is this week because I got everything. Stop clapping, Robert. I see you over there. Um, I have no idea which way to go, what to do, but I'm working on it. And I've got so much on my plate right now that it's just crazy. So God bless y'all. Love y'all. Yeah, Joanne's laughing. It's okay, Beatrice. If you need any guidance, honey, you can reach out to me anytime. And Robert says, I know a coach. <laughs> <laughs> awesome uh michelle my beauty love the new pictures you posted on facebook oh thank you well i guess that ties right into what my big goal is this week uh those are new uh brand branding images new headshots and so i will be doing headshots at the upcoming conference for people and so working with rob to get the details of that lined out and kind of get those uh, branding and headshot packages buttoned up and rolled out so that we have those available to people at the conference and even uh, leading up to if people don't want to try to squeeze into a little pocket at the conference, just 
making that available and getting that rolled out. Love it. Thank you. Robin, welcome. Would you introduce yourself to us briefly? Tell us who you are, what you do, um, and then what's your number one goal for the week? Hi. Hi. It's Vanessa. Nice to meet you I'm, uh, a little bit here on Zoom. Yeah. Uh, my name's Robin, and this is my first little event here with you guys. So thanks for having me. Um, I gosh, have lots of goals right now. I'm trying to, uh, my, I think my number one goal this week is to, uh, streamline and get things, get some direction about which way, um, to go next. Uh, I have a business that's launching a global business that's launching in February and I'm really excited about that. And, um, and gee, I'm launching a coaching business as well. Awesome. Um, I mean, gosh, there's a lot going on. It's going to be a great year. Yes, it is. Well, we're so happy to have you here, Robin, and welcome. We hope to Thank see you. you again. Fantastic. All right. We have a few more left here. Okay. I know I'm supposed to know who this is. Make my idea real. I can't think. Name. Hi, <laughs> Lisa. You are muted. You're driving. So we will. Do I, yeah, I didn't want to make people sick by driving with the video on. So okay. um, hi, Lisa McCarthy. I help creators turn their ideas into reality. Um, and I actually have a product that we are raising funds for. So my biggest goals this week are finishing this crazy catalog and um, figuring out what type of things to put on that landing page and finishing the investor presentation. So just a couple things. You go, girl. Awesome job. Thank you. Thanks for being here, Lisa, from your car. Uh, Phyllis, let's go to Phyllis. She always has a lot going on. Just give us your number one goal, girl. And don't forget <laughs> to tell Rob I said this. I am publishing a book through Achieve that's the um, called The Journey from Employee to Entrepreneur, Your Path to Freedom. And I'm working on getting that done as close as possible in the next week. I made a lot of progress, Beatrice, over the weekend. Fantastic. Fantastic, Phyllis. Love it. All right. Uh, let's go with Joy. I always leave Dr. Larry till last. I hope you don't mind, Dr. Larry. I just like talking to you last. Joy, share with us. Um, I set up my appointments to talk to some of the um, my glass people, but um, the snow kept their their office is closed. So that's what I'll be doing this week is going into toward their facilities. And uh, so that's going to be a big thing for me. Oh, fantastic, Joy. Sorry, I missed you on Friday night. I saw your smiley face, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I look forward to seeing you next time. Well, good luck with that. And so Eva still needs to share. I know you've hello. been super busy, girl, going, going, going. What's your number one goal this week? And hello, Robin. It's good to see you on here. Um, my number one goal is to get my banner ready, get my catalog page ready, and get that stupid sales funnel to work. Sales so funnel. I'm going, so I'm going to launch the book. I'm going to launch the coaching business, and I'm launching my new training series all at conference. Oh, Fantastic. Fantastic. Way, way to go, Eva. And everything's looking beautiful. Um, Sam, if you want to quickly share a goal, I know you introduced yourself already. Do you have a number one goal for the week? What do you need to get done? Yeah. And first, I just want to say I'm very inspired and I'm glad I'm starting my week this way. And I can't wait to hear more about all of your guys' businesses. This is great. Um, my number one goal is consistency. I have been traveling and that continues for the next couple months. Um, so just while I'm home, I want to stay consistent with my daily routine, you know, how I sleep, how I eat, um, whether or not I get deep work in my workouts, all those things. All very important. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I love that word consistency. So important. All right, Dr. Larry, we're going to end with you. Uh, what is your number one goal for this week? I know we completed your stand-up banner. That's done. Yeah. What's next? Well, I'm excited to see that. And my goal is just getting out there. Uh, as you as you know from my poster, there's different levels you can fly. And uh, my communication levels are like uh, Mustang. They're down there with past power. 
So I got to bring that up to the level of supersonic speech. Uh, so speed. So uh, that's what I'm working on this week. Fantastic, Dr. Larry. Now, did I miss anybody? We have Me. a who? Simona. Oh, Simona. Yeah, I had you introduce yourself, but I didn't ask your number one goal. I'm so sorry, honey. It's Go okay. ahead. Please share. Well, today is official tax season opens. Yay. Yay. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> uh, so I am working on my engagement letter and making sure it has everything I need in it for the jumpstart of 2022 tax season. Fantastic. Well, thank you. Thanks for sharing. You know, when there's so many, chances are I always miss someone at some point. Uh, did everyone share? All right. So with that said, let's get on to our little moment of learning here today. And really the share that I have, Eva, was inspired by our conversation this weekend. <laughs> and so, you know, but I'm, I'm, I, it really, uh, made me think about the conversation that we had. And so I really want to talk about uh, letting go of the good in the pursuit of excellence, right? Because a lot of the times we get complacent when things are good. Like when things are going well, we kind of get stuck in that being well, right? And for me, life and business are always about never ending improvement. And yes, that can be exhausting, but it can also be exhilarating, okay? And uh, when you stop moving forwards, what happens? We go backwards, right? Um, it's very, very, not very often that we just stay on one level. If we're not moving forward, we're often sliding backwards. So we want to always have the goal to move forward. And you've probably noticed that um, Robert here in Achieve, um, it's always our mission to every day find more ways to help each and every one of you grow and improve more and more and more and more. Rob's always coming out with the next best thing, right? There's always like the next, the next, the next. And there's a reason for that because sometimes you have to totally disrupt yourself in order to take your results to the next level. Now, know that when you step out of your box and strive for higher and for better, then there will always be people that will criticize and that'll want to convince you that whatever you're doing won't work or it can't work. And there'll be people who will identify what's wrong with everything that you're doing or simply want you to stay where you are because they're comfortable with the present. They're comfortable with no change, <laughs> right? With the way things are. So, but what I've noticed is that every time you level up, as you shed your old skin, so to say, uh, we release people and things. Uh, that might include team members. It might include, you know, friends. It might include people who are not willing to level up with you or commit to the work necessary to get you where you're going. So um, that's hard sometimes because me too, I know. It's, it's hard for me because I always get close to people. And sometimes to step away or step back and let those go, uh, when you're up leveling can be super difficult. That doesn't mean that they're not great people. Of course, they're great people, but it just means that they're not a good fit for your next level of where you're going. So you have to stay clear about your vision and you have to stay true to your vision so that you can elevate. And some team members and clients might not catch that vision with you. They might taper off or stay behind, right? So they're always going to be the people who love you. And then there are the people who are going to criticize you or even hate you, right? Especially the higher you go, the better you do, the more successful you are, these things happen. Uh, but the most exciting thing that I have found is that some of your people will rise and elevate with you and uh, the rest will fall away and go on their own way. And it's exciting to see who are those people that are inspired by how they can go higher with you and grow with you? And sometimes we are surprised. I've been surprised. Sometimes you think certain people are going to rise to the occasion and then they don't. But then there are some people who you were skeptical about and they totally rise to the occasion. So it's truly inspiring to see who steps up and who comes with you on your journey. 
uh, be clear about your mission. What is your mission? And do you, or do you tend to stop striving for higher when things are going well? Or do you continue to strive for more? That's what I want to inspire you today. So look at your business. I know some of us are struggling. It's not going so well. So we're naturally striving. But look at your patterns. What happens when things are going well for you? Do you stagnate? Do you stop striving for more? And so um, what, what can be really difficult for us as leaders is the fear of how will people respond to us? You know, how will people respond to me if I do this? Or how will they handle the transition through this? Or what will people think about me? And the truth is, you're damned if you do, and you're damned if you don't, mm -hmm. because you're always going to have the naysayers, the people, um, the people who don't agree with what you're doing, right? And so that what I want to share with you today is try to always strive for better. And don't listen too much to what other people are saying. Yes, certainly. We need to listen to our audience because we want to know that we're giving them what they need. But also trust your instincts. Trust your intuition. Um, you know, just hold, don't hold on to where you are because you think you're going to lose a lot of people or a lot of things if you up level or if you change. Um, and it, it takes courage. It takes a lot of courage to step into it and, and just step into that new vision of yours. And this counts for everything, business, life, health, relationships, right? I'm not just talking about business. It can be so hard to sometimes make those changes that are needed. But in order to pursue the great, you sometimes have to let go of the good, right? So the higher you go, the more you grow, um, with every move you make, there will be someone ready to criticize and discourage you. The thing you have to remember is other people's opinions are none of your business, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. Really, really listen to your own intuition and stick with that. So stand in your truth, do your thing, follow your intuition. That's what's going to allow you to strive for greatness remind yourself what is your calling as a leader and how are you going to show up are you holding yourself back because someone else doesn't like change right think about that for a second are you holding yourself back because someone else doesn't like change right so today i just want to inspire you in this call today to be the change make the change do you and go from good to great. Do the thing that you know is the next level for you. All right. Stop fearing all the what ifs. Because we're always like, what if this? What if that? Stop fearing the what ifs. Step out of your box and trust yourself. And that's really the message I want to share here today. Are there any questions or additions or comments? I do. Yes. Considering the fact that I was that conversation. And you know, the, the thing was, is when I made the decision to let go, it was so freeing. It's like a weight came off. And what surprised me is some of the people that I was concerned about the most are the people who turned out supporting me the most because, you know, and it gave me encouragement to speak, like even with you saying, you know, I'm not, that's not exactly what I need. And knowing that people, you know, I'm a high I, ID, you know, and if you want to know what that is, I'm certified to help you with that, but I'm a high I, and I always want people to love me. And, you know, it's not about people loving you. It's about you loving yourself. Thank you, Eva. And I, I want to add to that because I'm that person too. I, I used to be that person who compromised myself because I was so concerned to keep everyone around me happy and yes, to have them like me, right? Um, but it doesn't always serve us. And so I want to congratulate you, Eva, and I want everyone to congratulate Eva because she took a big step, changed her brand completely. It was a, it was a big change for her. And I think it's for the better, my darling. It's going to be awesome. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Anyone else have comments, questions? I was just going to say, um, I put it in the chat, but I had the same problem. And so 
my mom actually gave me some really good advice and that's keep your eyes on your own plate. It doesn't matter what anybody else is doing. Just focus on you and do you. Absolutely. Thank you for sharing, Mona. Well, you guys, we've come to the end of our call. Oh, Beatrice, please share. I just want to agree with Simona and also to say that um, sometimes we have to just not care what everybody else says about us and what they think about us because we're the ones that have to, to go forth and do the things that we have been called to do. When we start answering for everybody else, then we're taking their stuff, like Simona says, we're taking the stuff off of their plate and trying to eat it. And guess what? It's going to give us diarrhea. You know, where it, <laughs> it will nourish them. You know, and they don't have to go to the bathroom as many times as us, but then we get diarrhea and then we're walking around saying, oh, wait, I got to go to the bathroom and we can't even accomplish the stuff that we're supposed to accomplish because we're in the doggone bathroom again. So we have I to stop you. doing that. And I made up in my mind this Saturday, I turned 64. And this Saturday, I said, you know what? I am not worried about whether people like me or not, whether they want to be around me or not. Because as, as we used to say in, um, in Amway, I think it was, some will, some won't, so what? Somewhere, six will, okay? And so I'm of the opinion that someplace, there's somebody who's going to accept me for exactly who I am and the rest of them. Well, all, all I can say is bye. And that's bye. it. So God bless y'all. <laughs> Happy birthday. Don't do it. And if you're Thank not you, nice, the drill sergeant will make you do push-ups. That's yes. right, baby. There I did 110 yeah. on my birthday, so don't play. Hallelujah. <laughs> well, and actually, Beatrice, I love what you said because uh, I don't know, those of you know, I did a webinar for a mastermind of uh, Catrice, Dr. Catrice Austin. She's the VIP dentist. And uh, I did it last week. And, and funny enough, those words came out of my mouth. I've never said them before, but somehow I just was compelled to say it. And I said, you just got to mind your own business. And uh, she like, that's like the thing she, she harped on after the mastermind because it kind of just stuck. Definitely mind your own business, do your thing. Um, with all the input we're getting these days with social media and everything else, uh, you really got to get back to focusing on what is your mission. And we talked about that somewhat last week. We talked about your big why and remember what gets you there. So thank you guys. With that, I'm going to call it a day. Thanks for being here. And I'll see you next week. Same time, same place. Have a beautiful Monday. See and go you all. And, uh, achieve your Bye. goal, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Thank Bye. you. Bye.